This program brought to you by SeaDance.com. Last season for the Mariinsky Ballet is very hard. Uh, I think we never have uh, so many production restaging or new production in the season. We have uh, 10 new work in the season. We are staging Scotch Symphony by Balanchine. We are staging Petrushka by Fokin. We uh, have a couple of the new work with a uh, young choreographer, Russian or international. We stage uh, Carmen Suita by Bize Alonso. During the ballet festival in April, we have Anna Karenina uh, by uh, Alexei Ratmansky choreography uh, by Rodion Shudrin's score. And in the very end of the season, in the White Nights Festival, it's a huge festival, three months. The opera, ballet, music, everything. Uh, we present the public huge production of Spartacus. This is the first version of that ballet. This is a version by Leonid Jakobson, uh, by the score of Aram Ilyich Khachaturian. But it's a completely different language for the dancers, because in the Spartacus, Leonid Jakobson don't like to use the point shoes. And he don't like to, to using the uh, dancers in uh, turning out the feet. The, all, all of the ballet on the on demi point and turning in, like in the frescas. Uh, during the White Nights Festival, we perform many times Spartacus. We do the first time we do it the first of uh, July, and last time we do it at 9, 19 of July. And uh, all the production two weeks before is sold out. You know, I think the public is very interesting about that because it's not only the choreography. I think the success of this ballet by by the Jakobson or by the Grigorovich version, this is a music. It's amazing. Music. The critics say this is a music like is a Rubens paint. This is a cachetera and music, very coloristic music. And also the Jakobson version is based of the very rich and huge sets. This this movie uh, this looks like a great great movie. Anna Karina, this is a by uh, Radion Chidrin score, and. Uh, Choreography is completely different. Both production is a modern production, but uh, Alexei Ratmansky version, it's for me, uh, like, a, like a people who are sitting in the audience and watching the production, I feel like I'm sitting in a movie theater, in a good movie theater, because the, I can't, I, I, I'm concentrating all the time, two hours I'm concentrating to the, to the, uh, to the scene, because, uh, the uh, scenery and the changing of the uh, scene, uh, uh, the very fast, uh, because he used the uh, videographic, he used the very simple sets, but it's it works very well, and the choreography is very sensitive. Mm -hmm. And I saw not only uh, the principal dancers on stage, I saw the whole pictures on stage. I saw, I saw the people who was acting in a second plan, in a third plan, and I saw them, they play, they play the story, and I feel like, like watch their life. Uh, now uh, we have a lot of the new uh, dancers who is growing up very well, and uh, I would like to say uh, I'm so happy for we have the new stars like Victoria Tiroshkina. She's an amazing ballerina. She, I think she can do everything. She can do the uh, special lyrical stuff role or the very dramatic role or uh, very character role. She's absolutely amazing in Swan Lake or in Don Q. Or she can dance uh, Balanchine Ballet in a high quality level because she have a, a lot of the light techniques, jump, turning and uh, the small techniques also. Uh, we have beautiful ballerina like uh, Alina Somova. She's, she's gorgeous, I think. And uh, other star who, who's growing up now very well is Ekaterina Kandaurova. 
She's, she was the, she's dancing the Anna Karenina in the third cast after the Vishnova and Lapatkina, but she was incredible. For the male dancers, it's a little bit difficult, but now we have uh, people like Leonid Sarfanov. He's absolutely star of the ballet, and uh, one of the new boy, he's winner the golden medal in the last Moscow uh, competition, ballet dancer competition, is Vladimir Shklarov. He is a very, very nice dancer and a very dramatical dancer. He has the huge soft jump, uh, nice turning, and he has uh, a lot of the passion inside. And I think he has a good, good and big future. I think uh, for me, uh, I would like to I would like to keep the very high level of the classical ballet because I think the uh, Mariinsky Theater this is a place where the almost the classical ballet is born, and we have one of the best corps de ballet in the world, and we have one of the best uh, academic style school in the world, Vaganova Ballet Academy. The teachers in the school have very good salary now, and uh, they make now incredible renovation of the old building in the Rossi Street. One of the big problems for the, I think for the whole world, and especially for the Russia, we need a new choreographer who can open the new language based in a classical uh, style of the Mariinsky Theater. And I think we have to work for that and we have to found the people like Alexei Ratmansky who can create the modern choreography based in the classical style. We don't have so much problem about the money. We, if you do the 10 new production, you know, this is a difficult, but we can do that. It's not very bad time for us because the, our federal government support us well.